These are the views expressed by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe on reports surrounding the new cabinet of ministers. I am sad to note the newspaper reported on who is in and who is not in the cabinet. I will make a statement to parliament after appointing all the cabinet and non-cabinet ministers because the cabinet is accountable to parliament. We are discussing with president on the ones who were not appointed to the cabinet even though we have different opinions. I was surprised to see some names which I didn't send. I saw MP Vijay Muni Zoiza's name but I never sent his name. <laughs> It was Ranil Vikramasinghe who created the background for the political conspiracy. But before that, Maitripala Sirisena was also looking for loopholes in the constitution. And now Ranil Vikramasinghe is searching for loopholes. Leader of the House, get up and give an answer on the name list. So under what grant of the constitution did the Prime Minister send 35 names? Who is trying to define our national government? Our leaders have been taught a lesson over the protection of the constitution and the judiciary of our country. If the Prime Minister is to go against the constitution after 50 days of constitutional debate within the country, what sort of leaders are they? At present, both the President and the Prime Minister have violated the constitution. I believe that we must establish a national government once again. The people are expecting a parliament consisting of a 30-member cabinet. I believe that if MPs of the opposition are willing to extend their support to us, it is okay to absorb them. However, I believe that the public will oppose to a 70- or 80-member jumbo cabinet.